Roger Locke is suing Cindy Carmichael in the amount of $1,950. Mr. Locke claims Ms. Carmichael caused them to get kicked out of a music festival, and he believes she owes him for their travel expenses and the concert tickets. Ms. Carmichael claims they were kicked out of the event because of the plaintiff's behavior. All right, Mr. Long, Ms. Carmichael, I've read your pleadings. Uh, you're suing Ms. Carmichael for the cost of a trip to a concert. Yes, Your Honor. Is that right? And how do you know this man? Uh, we met a couple months ago at a music venue. Uh -huh. uh, well, it was actually a bar, and yep. he came up to me and hit on me and talked to me. Uh, I was a little weirded out at first. Right. You were in a bar? Yes. Aren't you 20 years old? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, I wasn't drinking. I was just enjoying the music. Okay. I didn't know that she was 20 years old until recently, until right. after the Funk Sounds Music Festival. And you struck up a friendship, or what happened? We, we, we connected. We were listening to this music, and we had similar interests, and we had a lot to talk about. Okay. Well, it, how, how, how old are you? I'm 26. Okay. We did definitely connect, um, okay. but it didn't start as, I mean, it started as friends. I made it clear to him that right. I was not looking for a relationship. Right. And you felt the same way? Um, well, after we exchanged numbers, uh -huh. and, you know, there were multiple incidents where we went out for dinner. Okay. So you were thinking a little more than friends. To be honest, Your Honor, I thought there was a little chemistry there. We had, right. we shared many laughs during dinner. Right. I made it clear to him, you know, we're just friends. Oh, I so love... did she tell you we're just friends, so don't think this is going any further than this, sir? Did I she didn't tell get you that? that impression. Did she ever touch you? No, Your Honor, she never did touched me. Did she ever run her fingers through your hair? <laughs> Not my hair. No, she didn't yeah. do all of that with you? Did nothing? Did, I know she didn't kiss you. No, she didn't kiss me. And she didn't hug you? She hugged me. She did? She hugged you? Yeah. And yes. you thought you hugged him? Why friends were you hugging hug. him? Yes, I. Friends hug. I right. mean, come on, we, we don't see each other that often. It was nice right. to see each other. We, we get along really well. But these dinner dates, though, like, how would they end? A nice hug, he would drive me home, and I'd right. say thanks for dinner. So when he drove you home, you didn't kiss him goodnight or anything? No. Nothing no. like that. And this went on for how long? Three months. Three months. Three months of this, and nothing more than that. I wasn't so, trying to push and no, make her I understand. feel uncomfortable. So then this Fun Something Festival, what's the name of the festival? Funk, Funk Sands. Sands. Music Festival. What is that? It's basically a two-day event, very similar to Coachella, oh, okay. with a variety of bands, artists, get together, set up multiple stages and right. vendors. Okay. So you invited her? Yes. Why did you invite her? I know she likes to go to music concerts, right. and I certainly wanted to go to this Funk Sounds. I've been well, wanting to go. Well, what I understand about these festivals, is Coachella, whatever, is like there's no really, not really a place to stay. Don't you like camp out, like out so, there where they have the concert? I purchased for a hotel room. So when you called her, did you tell her, um, I got a hotel and tickets? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. I texted her. Okay. She responded immediately, very excited to go. All right. To did this you concert. say I'm paying for it? I told her I pay for her ticket because she told me that she was broke. Okay. So I told her, don't worry about your ticket. I'll, I'll pay cover. for your ticket. Then what about the hotel? I asked her, I called her and told her and asked her if she could pay for half of the expenses of the transportation of gas and hotel. She agreed to do so. And so we did you tell him that he said he'd give you the tickets and in exchange you were going to pay for a hotel and gas? No, ma'am, I did not agree to that. What was the agreement from your point of view? Well, um, he texted me and it was very last minute and of right. course I was super excited. It's a very expensive concert. Right. How much are the tickets? Um, it's, it comes out to a total of fifteen fifty for the tickets for two tickets. Wow, okay. one thousand five hundred forty nine and sixty nine cents. Okay, all right. So you were excited. Wow, yeah. I get to go to this thing. So yeah. what did you think? What was the agreement, though? So I said, yeah, I'll be happy to help with um, some other expenses. Okay, so you did say I'll pay some of the other expenses. Yeah, but I there was no agreement he about never which expenses. Yeah, like kind of exactly. whatever comes up. Maybe yeah. if I feel like paying, I'll help. Yeah, I was thinking I would bring snacks and drinks and drinks. Oh, you were going to bring mean, snacks and drinks to yeah. the concert? Yeah. Coming up on Supreme Justice. Because she got caught with a bottle, we got kicked out of the venue. Supreme Justice is back with the case of Roger Locke, who is suing Cindy Carmichael for $1,950. On the drive there, did she give you any money for gas? No, she didn't. I asked for it. She said she would snap it to me through a mobile app. Right. Did you snap that money over through the app to him? 
No, because I was paying for the snacks at the concert. The snacks? The food and the drinks. Well, I figured I could either send him the money electronically and then he could pay for drinks or I could just buy the drinks. It's just right. easier. What do you mean drinks? Like drinks. Like what? Like, I don't know, you know, drinks to have fun at the concert. Tell me what kind of drinks you had in mind. Uh, like vodka, perhaps, or um, a daiquiri. Right, um, so you brought that along. Uh, I brought vodka, yes. You brought vodka along? Yes. Did you tell him you were bringing vodka? Uh, no. Okay. It was going to be a surprise. It was a surprise. The vodka yes. was a surprise. <laughs> All right, so we get to the concert, and what happens? So when we go to the concert, everything was good. We were having a good time, right. walking around, enjoying various stages. And when we finally settled down by the main stage, mm -hmm. she goes to the restroom. She returns, right. reeking of alcohol. Right. And so I question her. What were you, you know, doing in the restroom, drinking that vodka? No, I used the restroom. Right, and did and you then, have some of the vodka? Yeah, I had a sip of it. Because you're not supposed to have open containers at these concerts, right? Exactly. So you had to go to the bathroom mm -hmm. to pour that vodka. Yeah, you got to hide okay. it. Okay. And did she offer you any? No, I questioned her, where did she get the vodka? She lied to me and told me that she got it from the vendor. Right. So after the song ended, she was roaming around. She seemed a little bit intoxicated. Right. I asked her to grab a drink for me, and I gave her $100 cash. I to get you any. a vodka? To get me a drink, to buy us both a drink. Okay, so what happened then? So at that point, I was, uh, you know, a little tipsy. Right. We were, uh, you know, How many an hour vodkas into the had you had by that time? Just like, you know, two sips. Anyway, but I'm very lightweight. So I went to get his drink. No kidding. <laughs> I went to get his drink, and, you know, I was, I was having fun. I was enjoying the music. Right. And as, you know, I poured his drink, I put it in a cup, uh -huh. I brought it back to him. Uh -huh. And at that point, Lana Del Rey, my favorite artist in the world, right. came on stage. Uh -huh. So I was so distracted. I was dancing. I was like screaming I was so excited right. to see her I forgot to give back the, the money right if he had asked I would have been happy to give it right just Did like you ever you give just... him back that money no you got it with you now well the way the, the way change from the hundred dollar bill I don't Do have, have that me. I can give it to him after yeah okay you got that on yeah you. okay you got that coming back you're gonna get the change to that hundred dollar bill yeah okay bill, that yeah. was not intentional okay but what okay. happened that brought us here well the second trip, when I asked her to bring me another drink, right. she two times she brought back a plastic cup half full of vodka. Right. No ice, nothing. no mixer, nothing. Right. You didn't know this girl was packing vodka? I did not know she was packing vodka. Okay, wow. Yeah. So what happened? Why are we here today? What went wrong? The second time when she brought me back the drink, security guard followed and started questioning her. Where did she buy the drink? Right. And accusing her that she was sneaking in liquor. Because she got caught with a bottle, we got kicked out of the venue. Oh. And when we got kicked out, right. the, the event organizer asked to check our IDs. Then I come to realize that she's, she's only 20, 20 years, years old. old. Yes, okay. Your Honor, she lied to me about her age. She told right. me she was 23. So why, why did y'all go from there? So uh, we started to argue. I, I was very upset that right. we got banned from the concert. Right, we, you we really were, wanted to go to that concert. I really concert. wanted to go. This is right. something I was really looking forward to. I drove right. all the way out there, paid for all the expenses. Right. So why didn't y'all just go over to the hotel, see if you can make up? Because I didn't trust this woman. <laughs> right, you didn't trust her anymore. I didn't trust her. Right. After all the lies, after realizing that she pocketed my $100. Right. So I understand from your pleadings that you kind of just dropped her on the side of the road somewhere. Is that what happened? I told her that she could find her own way home. Right, you weren't going to take her home. I wasn't going to take it home. Okay, and so you want back the cost of your ticket, the cost of her ticket, and what else? The, the cost gas of the hotel. And the hotel. Okay, and you want back, you had to take an Uber home. Yeah, so. Um, and you paid $400 for that. Yeah. You got I, that receipt because you told me I you do. don't have any money, but you paid for a $400 Uber ride. That's pretty much all I had in my bank account, Let and I was going to use that for rent. Right. And I was late on rent that month because of this. Okay. Uh, and if I can backtrack... No, no, I'm getting ready to wrap up here. I've spent a lot of time on this case. Well, where is the, the, the man's uh, change to that $100 bill? It's in my bag. Okay. I will give it to him when, we, when I uh, finish here, I want you to take her out so he can get his change. You should have at least, what, about $95 coming back? Because I she should. wasn't buying any drinks. She was pouring that out of her bag. I should have that. Okay? So $95. she's going to give you back the 95 and ask to the 400 So you're not getting that 1950 back. You're going to eat that loss because you learned something. And you are not getting that $400 back because you got what you deserve. But you are going to give him back the $100 that he gave you for that drink. All right?
judgment for the plaintiff for $100. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $100. Cindy, you lied about everything. You got us kicked out of the concert. I'm done with you. Roger, you left me stranded in the desert. You got your $100 back, now lose my number. 